Hello everybody, this is the Count Channel, and today I'm doing a review of the new Legend of the Monkey, like that, it's on the Netflix, Netflix original series. It's uh, basically based on the old Chinese like legend of the Monkey King, like this, but newly imagination. They have a lot of thinking, um, New Zealand actors in it. I was like, oh, they have the one guy from thinking, um, one head of so he died last season, but <laughs> I was like, oh, you're the Monkey King, okay, cool. Well. I'm not gonna spoil the whole thing, but I'm gonna tell you the gist of the thing and say if you like it or not. I will say you need to watch it. It's only ten episodes. It goes by like that, and I loved it. Okay, but let's go on this. Basically, the girl, this girl, is listening to her, uh, her teacher and a monk and a bunch of people like rebels, basically trying to to free the monkey king. And this one monk guy has a mission. Well. The Monkey King has been like basically captured and a prison into in a mountain like this. But he needs his crown to come back to life. So this demon comes in, wipes out all the rebels, takes the freaking freaking um crown, goes off like that, does his thing, kills everybody, slips the girl, she escapes. She was able to find the crown and put it on the Monkey King, okay? The thing with the Monkey King is she heard legends of how powerful the Monkey King and his fine cloud. Now all things like Goku, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, you get the weapons like this. Because Dragon Ball Z is based on the Monkey King joining to the rest like this. So when I was looking at the Monkey King, I'm like, Goku, awesome! I was like, that's not his name, but I was like, that's what I was thinking. And then he's like, my, the cloud. I was like, oh, I can call my cloud out. Like, the flying Nimbus. So I was like, okay, cool. If you get my reference, you must watch Dragon Ball Z, then you get my reference, okay? Um, you see him, he's like, he's like, I'm gonna knock this one guy out in one episode like this with picking my finger in one to three seconds. But he couldn't do it because he's been sleeping for so long. It's like when you lift weights and you don't use lift weights that much, you stop working, work, working out and you just lose all your muscles. He has lost all his power and so he has to regain it like that. So you see his journey regaining, getting stronger each episode. You see him like meeting new friends, like uh, Peel off the pig guy like that. I was thinking, we'll see, but same thing. Big fat dude, basically the pig god. And then the monk girl is basically Tion Shen Wan, like that. So basically, you have all these characters, you mean, and making a new family like this, and discovering what his past and what he did. And you see the this one girl, at least I idolized him as a god, seeing his true style, like that, and what he really is about. She's like, you need to be saving the world. Because right now the demons have been ruling the world for the last 500 years, and they're trying to, like, stop that. No, I give this whole show probably a, a 9 out of 5, like, how many out of, out of 10, 9.5. It was really good, it was entertaining, it literally made me think of Dragon Ball Z the whole time, and I was literally smiling, was crying, because it was that adorable, I was like, oh my god, it made me feel like a kid again. And this is a different stereotype. Like, um, the first episode really reminds me of that movie uh, with the Monkey King or with Jackie Chan and Jet Li and that little kid. It happened like came out I think it was like, junior year like this. It reminded me of that a lot, you know. Some of the power he didn't have because you know he had to earn it back. And the guy that plays him, perfect body. You know what I mean, yes, he looks like he's Asian, like or Asian white, but he's actually Maori. But like. He get passed and like they have difficult culture, but the visuals and like the, the effects of this was pretty good. They did a pretty good job. The story, excellent. The martial arts that they're doing, like the punches and kicks and the staff fighting, pretty on point. I mean, some of it is bullshit, but it's entertaining. Like you, you like, oh, this is real, but you know it's bullshit if you're a real martial art like me. But it's still entertaining to watch like this. Um, I would say. If you have kids, watch it with your kids like this, because they both get enjoy it with you. And you guys have a blessed day. Comment below, subscribe to me, and, um, you know, like. Peace out. And no, don't forget, watch Legend of the Monkey. It's hilarious. It's a good act. Have a blessed day.